What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be all about List Perfectly again. Uh, this time uh, I was on the Facebook group and someone who just recently subscribed wanted to know the ins and outs of List Perfectly. So that is what I am going to do. Uh, I'm gonna try to put the chapters. Uh, I'm not sure how that works, but I'll try to do it. And then I'm gonna show you how to mark sold, how to delete, and then how to do actual cross posting from like say eBay to Poshmark and vice versa. So let's head over to my screen and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So as usual, uh, just so you know, I have the $50 uh, uh, package. I get up to 300 items to be able to put in this catalog. So what I mean by that is, so all these right here, I already have uh, just on the catalog itself. When you, well, you see these right here, these are the marketplaces that I already posted. So these are already there. Now, if you upload to the catalog itself, what you're going to do is you click on these two arrows right here, and then you choose whatever marketplaces you want. And then say, I use the four, of course, eBay, uh, Facebook, Marketplace, Mercari, and Poshmark. So once you click the ones that you want, you put right here where it says copy. Now, once you put copy, it's going to say processing, and then it's going to open up whatever tabs of the marketplaces you have. And then um, sometimes it takes a while, but you just got to wait until it actually opens it up. So let's just wait for it to open that up. And then, yeah. And then, okay. So as you can see, it starts opening everything up. And these are the force that I have, of course. And then it automatically um, adds in everything that you put in the catalog itself for that listing. So let's say it's this one. It's going to open it up right now. And then everything I hear, it's easy. Size. The price, the color, and then the keywords mostly for Poshmark and Facebook. MSRP mostly for Posh. The SKU that's for your own inventory, and then UPC mostly for eBay. And of course, you upload your pictures to the catalog itself, and then of course your description, and then that's what this is. That's what the listing on the catalog itself is. Now, as you can see, this is Macari. It already uploaded the pictures. It has my title. It has the description and the hashtags. And then when you for this is for Macari, you have to put the category, of course, the condition, and then the color if it doesn't pop up, and then you can do the rest. Same with Poshmark. It's already added in. It's title, description, and then you of course you have to do the catalog. And sometimes it doesn't recommend or that. So for, for Posh, you have to choose it first. Uh, so you know, say these are shoes, and then and then after you choose that, it um it goes to the size, and then the rest, you know, it's up to you. And then I'm not, I'm obviously not going to upload this just yet, but, and then for eBay, and then this is eBay title, the catalog, usually it's always correct for me. Your, your own, this is your own stuff. You start to do condition and as you can see, the pictures are up are already uploaded. So whatever you uploaded to that catalog is going to be in the marketplaces. And of course for eBay, you still got to do the, all the other small things, but as you can, my description is already there. My price is there. And then of course, everything else it's on you. And then same with Facebook Marketplace, uh, pictures are uploaded, everything is already there. And yeah, so that's basically how you actually uh, uh, post from the catalog to, uh, to all the marketplaces. Now, let's head on over to how to mark for sale. Let's see if I can find one. I actually just sold one today. And okay, so these sketches right here, what you're going to do is go again to the little green arrows and then what you want to do is you want to click right here where it says select to mark sold and then it's going to highlight everything now what you're going to want to do is of course deselect everything and then choose the marketplaces that were not um that they weren't sold in of course so in this case this one's sold on poshmark so of course i'm going to want to delete it from facebook ebay and macari once you choose the ones that are um that it did not sell in you're just going to Click right here where it says mark sold and then this is going to pop up listings will be ended or removed on marketplaces you just put okay now and that's going to be processing and then of course it's going to open up all the marketplaces again now for me i already this was already uh deleted because i had to do it that way it doesn't sell oh but see okay so see it completely deleted already it's gone and then let me sign and then of course for ebay you're going to have one that pops up that um uh, just put end listing. Of course, it already says right here was closed on February 19th, which was today because I did. I had to do that one manually because I was at work. So, of course, that's what you do. You just put end listing. 
And then the same thing with Facebook Marketplace, uh, you know, the usual one that pops up with uh, did a sale, blah, blah. And then, yeah, that's really all you do. Once you're done with that, um, you can you, you can delete this listing from the catalog. That's assuming you put it in the catalog, of course. All you do is just put this little trash can. And then once it highlights, boom, that's it. You're good. And then you just refresh. And then, see, it's not there no more. So that way you have space for another uh, item in your catalog to upload. And then, and then of course, I think the one that most people are kind of interested in is the actual cross-posting one. So what you're going to say here, eBay. Yeah, sorry about that. eBay. And then you just... Okay, right here. Active listings. And then what you're going so the way that this works cross posting from what platform uh, one platform to the other is let me see if I can find one that I don't have okay so say ah uh, what don't I have <laughs> sorry about that give me a minute okay so take this shirt for example right uh, this one I believe I don't have a Mercari but either way I don't know I'll just delete it but so what you're gonna do to cross post from one platform to the other is you just click the little green arrows and then you click the one that you want to uh, upload it to or multiples whichever one you want so in this case say Macari and Poshmark all right so all you after that you choose the ones that you want you just put copy and then the cool thing is it, it you don't uh, you don't even need the original photos because it uses a photo that's already on the listing itself and after that see you just gotta wait for uh, this extension is loading the images and then it's actually it already uploaded the brand the title and the description and then, of course, just like the rest, you still have to upload the rest of the stuff. And then you just got to wait for it. And then there you go. Boom. It popped up. And see, that's it. After that, you just upload what you need to upload. And then list, and you're good to go. And let's look at Poshmark. See, photos are there. Title is there. Description. You are good to go. And, of course, everything in. And, yeah. There you go, guys. That was a more detailed um, process of how to use this perfectly more than the other ones that I have made. Uh, of course, I have made other videos about it. They were just, uh, you know, just short and pretty simple. But this is more in depth of how I use it and, you know, how to actually use it. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments below. I usually answer them as soon as I get the notifications. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Uh, to me, this perfectly has saved me a lot of time. And yeah, again, if you have any questions, please write them in the comments below and I will help you as fast as I can with any way I can, of course. Uh, Till next time, guys, stay safe and hope you're uh, eager to see my next video, whatever it might be. <laughs> Take care, guys.